What's up fellas? This video is a review on Tecron and I'm doing it because all the other channels are doing it wrong. Today we are going to test the actual, actual fuel injector attributes of this substance. We will not be sticking a camera in the engine to make it short and sweet. Yes, this will save you money. Yes, it does work. I'm going to tell you what happened here. I basically monitored my gas mileage before using two bottles of Tecron in my car, okay? After using two bottles and two tanks of gas, I have achieved a one mile per gallon increase. I went from 20 miles per gallon at 80 miles per hour to 21 miles per gallon at 80 miles per hour. And let's go through the numbers of what type of money is involved at an increase of one mile per gallon. Let's say if you're like me, you have a hundred mile drive per day. That comes out to $70 a week on a five day week at 20 miles per gallon, okay? Now because I got the 21 miles per gallon now, that same week should only cost me $66, which provides a savings of $3.34, equating to a scenario that this stuff would pay for itself in 2.2 months. One bottle is paid for in a week, basically, at $14 per bottle. So, in one year, adding these two bottles of Tecron will make you $167. So, minus 28, your net profit, okay, is $139 in one year, if you subtract the $28 for the two bottles of Tecron. So, this may not seem much like much to the average eye, but if you own a company where you guys are traveling, say, a thousand miles per week or two thousand miles per week, this number adds up significantly. If you have a fleet of trucks, um, let's let's pretend you have four vehicles. One thirty-nine times four. That's five hundred and fifty-six dollars that you'll save in one year simply by putting this stuff in your gas tank and getting a one mile per gallon increase. Now here's the problem, guys. I'm a very analytical person and I understand that data sets are complex statistical figures that require mass quantities of data to truly illuminate the actual attributes of a system. So this simple data set I've given you may have been altered by something as simple as the wind speed the particular day I took the final test. So I'm going to do an update to this video guys. So don't beat me up in the comment section about how this is only one point in the graph and all this. I know, I know. But at least we're doing an actual test of Tecron the right way. I am just kind of flabbergasted by the current videos on this subject. They're way off fellas. I don't know why you'd stick a camera in your car to test a fuel cleaner but it does claim it can do that on the box. The thing is, that's after using it every 3,000 miles for a year. You can't just do it one treatment, it's gonna clean your engine. It does not advertise it can do that. So here you are, guys. This is the brass tax. If you own one vehicle and you're traveling 100 miles per day, you're gonna make $139 a year off of a single mile per gallon. And you may get more than that. It kind of, kind of puts it in perspective as far as uh, driving with a lead foot goes too. I'm probably paying an extra 550, six a year just to, my actual mile per gallon is like way down here. So I, I've, I've had that gauge down to 17. <laughs> so if this is 80 miles per hour, you do the math. Not a good thing, Bob. But I'm a safe driver. I don't just go out there and steal the road. I just, when you got a long drive like me guys, you gotta get home. So there you have it. Definitely, I'm gonna be endorsing the Tecron. I've lost the bottle. There's no point. You, you wanna see this anyway. There you go, 139 bucks. Okay, I'm on a fairly flat stretch of highway here. And you can see that we are just a slight bit over 20 miles per gallon there. Okay guys, so we're coming up on the second tank of Tecron. 
meaning I'm getting ready to fill the tank up with gas, but first, per the orders of the instructions, I'm going to add the Tecron to the gas tank. We've been hovering around 18.5 to 19 miles per gallon. Still getting that same 20 miles per gallon at 80 miles per hour. So, we'll see how that does. One more little clip. We're still running that steady 20 miles per gallon at 80 miles per hour. So, hovering right around it. Okay, fellas, the cruise control is on. And something weird is going on here. I haven't done anything different. We're on fairly flat level ground. I just refilled the tank after the second Tecron flush, and I am in fact seeing an improvement on the miles per gallon. An entire mile per gallon. I'm going up a slight hill right now. Just to show you how sensitive this thing is, that's not much of a grade at all. Like 1%. Probably doing about 79 miles an hour. But something is up. Definitely seeing a little bit of an improvement there, it seems. Now I'm going to go down a little dip just to show you how sensitive this thing actually is. It's going to register that dip. I'm showing you this to, so you can trust whether or not it's actually capable of reading any slight change we're now going back up the grade just a little bit there this hill is nothing at all it's you wouldn't even roll down it if you were on a skateboard we're coming up on to some uh to the plateau here just reached the plateau and i'm on flat level ground 80 miles per hour and we are at 21 miles per gallon. So, fellas, we're seeing a one mile per gallon increase here. This is flat ground. If anything, I'm going up a slight grade, so definitely happy to see that even the register is showing 21.1 so in conclusion let's do some math and see how much money this double application of Tecron will have saved me over the course of the next six months we're gonna do six months because I don't know whether or not any buildup would occur I don't know that we could maintain that gas mileage for longer than that. 